respected chairperson and my seniors and my colleagues. Uh, my, myself, Dr. Dhawal Kumar Ajpara. My talk, uh, paper to topic is Metabolic Syndrome, Prevalence Among Type 2 Diabetes Patients. My aim of uh, paper is uh, to evaluate metabolic syndrome magnitude among members of type 2 diabetes community. And, uh, in method uh, a cross-sectional study with total uh, 100 uh, non-diabetes patients participate in study age between 32 to 68 years. A detailed history including age, gender, duration of uh, uh, DM and Compliance with medication was taken. The data collection comprised healthcare questionnaires, anthropometric measurement of weight, height, and waist circumference, health examination, and well trained nurse drew 5 million of fasting morning blood sample for laboratory test and fasting te state for FBS and lipid profile. Anthropometry, blood pressure, and fasting blood glucose were measured. Metabolic syndrome was diagnosed using adult treatment panel 3 and National Institute of Health. Type 2 diabetes patients were considered to have metabolic syndrome if they uh, had three or, three or more of five following criteria according to the ATP3 and National Institute of Health and AHA. Uh, first criteria, abdominal obesity, uh, defined as waist segments in women um, more than or equal to 88 centimeter and in men more than or equal to 102 centimeter. Uh, second is uh, uh, hypertriglyceridemia more than or equal to 150 milligram per deciliter or drug treatment for elevated uh, triglyceride level. HDL cholesterol level, uh, third criteria is H HDL cholesterol level uh, in uh, women uh, less than 50 milligram per deciliter and men uh, less than for 40 uh, milligram per deciliter or drug treatment for low HDL. Fourth criteria, blood pressure more than or equal to 135 uh, millimeter of mercury or drug treatment for elevated blood pressure. Fifth criteria, FBS level more than or equal to 110 milligram per deciliter of drug treatment for elevated blood glucose level. My result is uh, various uh, on various parameter, uh, uh, mean, mean parameter, the, there is uh, six, 63 diabetic men and uh, 37 diabetic men. Uh, in the mean age for diabetic, uh, on, on the behalf of result, mean age for diabetic men was 48 while the mean age of diabetic women 47. Abdominal circumference and high triglyceride level was significant higher among diabetic women comparative to diabetic men. Uh, individual component, hyper, uh, there are uh, 63, among the 63 diabetic men, uh, low HDL uh, 56, uh, high triglyceride level uh, 1, abdominal obesity 11 and hypertension uh, 27 patient. Among 37 diabetic women, low HDL 34, uh, abdomen obesity 22, and hypertension 21. Among the, there are no uh, any uh, patient for uh, major four or five five criteria. Only three criteria among uh, 63 uh, to, uh, among 100 patient total. 40 patient uh, have major metabolic uh, syndrome criteria. Among 63 diabetic men, 23 male is uh, uh, major metabolic syndrome criteria and among uh, 37 uh, uh, female patients, only 17 uh, female met, uh, metabolic uh, syndrome criteria. Total 40 out of 100 diabetic patients had metabolic syndrome out of which around 46 percent were female. Most of metabolic syndrome patients fulfilled uh, three criteria only. More, of, more the number of criteria fulfilled, fulfill more is the severity of complication. The most frequent abnormality were low high density and lipoprotein cholesterol and hypertension for men and low high density lipoprotein cholesterol and high waist circumference for women, 45 percent women and 36 percent men have metabolic syndrome with three abnormality. Nobody exhibit four or five uh, abnormalities. My conclusion, my uh, conclusion, is metabolic syndrome was present in 41 percent of the diabetic population. Metabolic syndrome was most common in the female person. And the most commonly occurring finding was decreased uh, high density lipoprotein. And my re reference for peer study is. Thank you. Sir.